party flipping Matt Richards, stylishly clad and a little sad. The last day that feels a little like the holiday season. Tomorrow's back to normal for many of us. Are you busted up or glad the chaos is over? Let me know on the chat. Sipping on cappuccino. happy okay it's time for new beginnings for vaccines getting delivered and hopes for a better tomorrow a little sadness is normal too but don't let it take over your brain so much that you miss the good things you hear me don't want to miss the good things and speaking of good things whoo, you've got your usual chance to claim a share of five thousand very good things dollars if you can answer the demanding dozen questions that we are moments away from throwing out at you oh yeah but if that's not exciting enough, there's always a VIP ticket you can purchase to speed up your pulse. Tonight's pot is at $2,000. VIP mode will happen if we sell a minimum of 100 tickets, but to keep payouts big, we won't sell more than 150. So grab one quick, baby. Oh, yeah. Get it. Treat yourself. And since it's Sunday, we're at the end of another week shouting out great charities that you, the H community, told us about. So take a look at who we saluted that last week. There was behind the scenes, helping entertainment tech workers keep going during the roughest period their industry has ever seen. Then Feed Albany, using struggling restaurants and workers to feed the at risk and in need in New York's capital. Then we had CD Aid, helping restaurant and hospitality workers make it to the end of uh, COVID in the Cordialine, Idaho area. Did I say that right? Cordialine, Idaho. Finally, Tower of Niceness, raising funds and awareness to help so many in the Sacramento area during hard times. So this is a whole Tower of Niceness. Yeah. The Tower of Niceness. We are so grateful for all the hard work these groups have accomplished and all of you players who donated winnings or gave directly at their web pages. You're making us something much bigger than a nightly game. And we thank you for it. That's right. That's right. Check it. When you play in HQ, right? And you're like, I know this, I know this. And then you click it, but it's wrong. And Extra Life comes in handy. And you can buy them right in the app, okay? Super easy. Just pick up an Extra Life so that way you got it when you need it. Right down here. Did you put it up? Somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. It's all around me. Erasers, you can use an eraser and you, it will erase one wrong answer, leaving two possible odds even greater. Erasers are very lit. All right, y'all ready to saw a hole in this ice, drop down some bait, and see what we catch? A lot of winter sports are on hold right now, but for now, trivia is a great indoor sport with not as much injury and frostbite. <laughs> Oh, yeah, babies. So let's go. Right now, I want you to shut out all distractions from your mind, all those pesky noises and blinking lights. Turn on that mental pipeline to all the knowledge you've ever taken in. And now, there is nothing to it but the H. Cue it. With question number one. Which planet is inside the area of our solar system's asteroid belt? Jupiter, Mars, or Neptune? All right, we've gone over this before. The belt separates the inner and outer parts of the solar system. The inner has most of the smaller planets, including Mars. Boom! Mars, baby, 42,026 players got it right. Let's go. Woo! Q2 in your face. <laughs> Skyrim was a hit game in what series? Elder Scrolls, World of Warcraft, or Leisure Suit Larry? Fosroda! That'll buy you some time, and the uh, most common injury is an arrow in the knee in this 2012 smash that was number five in the ongoing Elder Scrolls series. 
Yeah, 33,697 of y'all got that right. I wouldn't put Dragon Shouts in the suit Larry's hands at all. Shout out to everybody that played Skyrim in VR. That was pretty nuts. All right, Q3 in the place to be. What country also goes by the name Formosa? Taiwan, Japan, or Portugal? Come on, get with it. All right, back when every country had claims to every other country, there was a place called Formosa. The name's out of fashion, but it's still used by some people to refer to Taiwan. Did you get it? 29,058 players got that. Yes, baby, it was a Portuguese colony, and they still sometimes call it that. Taiwan. Boom, shakalaka. All right, Q4, knocking on your door. Which of these fonts is monospaced? Century Gothic, Courier New Bold, or Gil Sands? Looking for the monospaced font. All right. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah. monospaced font. All right, in monospaced fonts, every letter fills the same amount of space horizontally. This was one of the effects of old-fashioned typewriters, which is imitated by the Courier family. Boom! Courier New Bold! 25,850. y'all got that right. Billion dollar technology imitating the 19th century. Look at that. Mono spaced. Mmm! Nighttime Java. Q5 for the children. Who was not an inaugural inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Sam Cooke, Fats Domino, or Bill Hiley? Haley. <laughs> All right. The hall started in 1986 with a group of pioneers like James Brown, Elvis, and Little Richard. But a song many credit with popularizing rock, rock around the clock was by the man who'd have to wait, Bill himself. And the Comets waited until 2012. 13,924, y'all got that right. Yeah, babies. Also, somebody let me know in the chat, is it Holly or Haley? <laughs> Which are... See? See? Okay. Q6. And it goes a little something like this. Which home computer was introduced first? Amiga, Commodore 64, or Macintosh? Who's it gonna be? We're playing some trivia tonight. A lot of tech millionaires got their start on one of these units. Mid-80s computing got a big shot in the arm from the Mac and Amiga, but way back in 1982, the Commodore came out. Yes, for many years, the best-selling computer model ever. 64, Commodore. 16,735, y'all got that right. Commodore 64, babies. Mm. Question number seven is just around the river bend. Not really, it's right here. Q7, what fruit is not used to make A1 steak sauce? Blackberries, grapes, or oranges? Oh, wow. All right, there's a lot of stuff in that bottle. But ingredient number two after tomato puree is raisin paste. It's hard to make that without grapes. Mm. Further down the list, you add some orange puree. And only blackberries are left out. 12,128 of y'all got that right. It's not bad if you like fruit-flavored steak. I haven't put A1 steak sauce on something in so long. I feel like if you gotta put the sauce on your steak, you ain't make the steak right. Although I do love a good au poivre. All right, question number eight. Know you like the steak. Woo! Grill it, baby. What's up, Nate? Ah, oh, Nate doesn't eat steak. He is a 
veg ha <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys deserve better. That was terrible. That was so trash. All right, question. What's gotten into me? Coffee. Okay. Here we go. Q8. A Turkish province shares the name of a long-running superhero franchise created by whom? Gardner Fox, Bob Kane, or Stan Lee? No one's sure of the origin of this name, which also belongs to a river city in the province. It might come from a nearby mountain called Bati Rahman, but not Bob Kane's Batman. Huh? Bob Kane, 11,182. Got it right. The best thing about the region might be Batman University. I want to go there. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, learning some ninja skills. Basically, I already started learning ninja skills at Tiger Showman's MMA. Yeah! Okay, uh, Q9. The term pie in the sky originates from what? Music, play, or political slogan? Pie in the sky. It's almost poetic to imagine this pie, whether it's dessert or pizza, but it all started with a 1911 parody of church hymns promising insane rewards. It was a musician's protest. Not exactly, that's a more. Oh yeah, music, 7,788 of y'all got that right. If you wanna laugh, I encourage all of you to look up the Family Feud episode where Snoop Dogg was asked to fill in the blank and Steve Harvey said, pie in the what? Just look, Snoop Dogg, pie in the blank. So, uh, I laughed for a good two days. Q10! Time to get it in, my friends. Which was not a 1980s line of Cabbage Patch Kids dolls? Astronaut, creamy, or rock and roll? These dolls drove people nuts for a while. It was the first Christmas toy to cause riots, and although there was a rocking babies collection, there were no rock and roller kids. Did you win? No. It's oh my gosh! That's a savage question. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Hit him with your shoulder. 2,785 got it right. Rock and roller. Didn't happen. Q11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. Of the three waterfalls comprising Niagara Falls, none are named for what? Garment, nation, or supernatural creature? All right, I don't know if the Horseshoe Falls counts as a garment, but it doesn't matter because that's covered by Bridal Veil Falls, just across Luna Island from the American Falls. No supernatural business. Oh. I think I can. Yeah. You gotta go to Venezuela for Angel Falls. 3,568 of you are moving on to the final question of the game, babies. Let's go to work. Fresh oh. 12. What's that smell? Far, Smells like money. The last we did it. It's the final question of the game. All you gotta do is get this one right. And then I'm gonna flip some money in your direction. You feel me? Okay, Q12. A Harvard historian selected the worst year to be alive within a century of what religious figure's birth? Buddha, Muhammad, and Jesus. had nothing to do with the spiritual leader. In fact, it was before his birth that a volcanic eruption devastated the climate, causing widespread misery and ruining the Northern Hemisphere's year 536, less than 40 years before my life. We have 2,074 winners of HQ Trivia, babies! Air horn.
<laughs> Rocket ships are blasting off of the earth. Hit a diamond and show you what it's worth. Bars. Spirally. Ooh, intertwining rockets. Winner logo. Coins. Shout out to Patel 10 and Wright 2004. Dion Phoenix. That's a scary bear. Max Martina. Gunturt. <laughs> Climbing Rye. River Luisa. Smith, sir. Eugene! Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Congrats, baby. Uh, Smith, 098, Finlay Law. Uh, Fruity, Angelina, 58, Alexis, Ben, Monacase, Charles, Ha, all of y'all. Yeah. You did it, babies. You just won. I don't know how you guys keep doing it, but there's some heavy brain power out there. I always imagine y'all just playing in libraries and cyclotrons and stuff. But, okay, well done. Wherever you are, make sure you come back tomorrow for another shot, okay? Because I'm going to be here, I'm going to put on a different tie, and I'm going to have different questions, and it's going to be very jiggy. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I like it. I might keep this for the rest of the week. Yeah, okay. Oh, once again, we salute all of the charities we featured this past week and all of you who gave from the heart to help keep them going, you know? If you're still in a charitable mood, try a food bank in your area. Those can always use a little extra help. All right? Until we talk again, this is Money Flippin' Matt Rich is asking, is Chapstick doing terrible business now that everybody goes out with their mouth covered? Because I've had the same stick for the last year. <laughs>